Welcome to the Beam Embroidery Machine Training on Design Shop. Design Shop is a software that converts vector designs into digital embroidery pattern instructions read by the embroidery machine's operating software. First, open the program on the computer attached to the machine. Then, import your desired vector, which should look like a .svg or a .ai file, into Design Shop by dragging from the file location into the program or by going through the file menu and selecting the option to import. Once the design is in, it's useful to display your hoop on Design Shop to keep your designs within the space limits if you've already chosen your hoop type and size. Here we will go through the hoop setup, which can change the shown hoop to the dimensions of your chosen hoop. Each hoop at Beam should be labeled with its dimensions on the side. At this point, you can also manipulate the vector shapes before you convert them into the final embroidery pattern. This is super useful for last minute touches, but the other tools next to this arrow icon are for embroidery specific manipulation. Additionally, if you're just doing text, monograms, or simple and common shapes, or you want to add these to your original vector design, think about skipping Illustrator and using the native lettering in Design Shop. Often, this is optimized for embroidery. Once you're satisfied with your vector, Go ahead and select the entire design. You should order by which steps you would want to be embroidered before others. I'm going to prioritize moving from right to left, so I'll start with the B, which is number one in dark blue, then group the three shapes of the same color with the E, then do the A and the M before doing the B maker in orange. Design should either go from the center out or left to right when deciding order of priority. Here we're going to convert to embroidery. In this example, we'll leave the default stitching and we'll also leave the flatten overlap at two. The average flatten is around five, but this is a small design. Finally, we hit convert and we see our design. Using this button, we can toggle the view so we can hide the vectors and just see the embroidered design. We can continue to manipulate the location of the image and the size but not really the rotation. We can do 90 degree rotations in the machine software in the next video, which will be Melka. Finally, you'll save the file as a .ofm, or you'll load it directly onto the machine from the file menu.